Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd habati fillah may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us and bless you and forgive us and forgive you and guide us and guide you I wanted to talk about something because it's been asked several times from some of our brothers and sisters uh, especially our Caucasian brothers meaning white brothers. And some of the brothers, some that are very close to me, have asked and asked me to address this issue, which is a problematic issue. And this is the rise in some Muslim communities of anti aside from anti-revert status, but anti-white revert status. Meaning that some of the people say our brothers are, all, are, are the, the, the privileged class or that they have white privilege and stuff like this. There's no doubt we know these things exist, number one. But secondly, what is our role as a Muslim? Because if Someone is privileged and not everyone's privileged. A beloved brother just expressed to me personally today. And his story is such, and I hope he doesn't mind that I share. This is a brother that comes from a wealthy background, alhamdulillah, who gave up everything. He lost his wealthy inheritance. He served time, I don't know how many years he served behind bars for his mistakes. He's been through every kind of struggle homelessness, and everything else. And that was because he, he came to the deen of Allah Jal. Allah wa ta'ala decreed that for him to come to the brotherhood of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, All of you cooperate together in bitter wa taqwa, in righteousness and piety. And do not Ta'awan or cooperate in sin and enmity. That ayah, enough alone should be sufficient for us to deal with all the sickness we deal with on our community. All the racism coming from every single angle. As reverts, we, feel, we find much racism. We don't feel we find much racism as reverts, many people around the world don't even think you're Muslim, really. You're never sufficient. Even if you call to Allah and you study a little bit, you're jahil because you're not an Arab. So we get that. We have some of our brothers and sisters because of your skin color. You're just a slave. And some of them are blacker than you. Then we have an elite class from some of our brothers and sisters that do benefit from their privilege. And they think down on you. They hated you in Jahiliya, and in Islam they are racist towards you. So it comes in all so many different forms. But sticking specifically to this issue, it never warrants that you hate and despise your brother for their color. And the brother brought it to my attention that some people even put it on social media. They said, yeah, you're my brother in Islam. Like, that's nothing. But I would never invite somebody, a white revert to my house or a white person to my house or some weird stuff like this. Not even to their house. That doesn't mean that obviously that negates marriage, that negates everything else. Instead of judging by the book and the sunnah, instead of bridging the heart of the mu'mineen, Verily, the, the believers are brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in nation tribes to know one another. To know one another. Not to despise one another. And the best of you are those who have taqwa. They fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are the best amongst us. It doesn't matter if they're black, they're white, they're yellow, they're Somali, they're Ethiopian, they're Chinese. 
from Wuhan. We don't care. It's Islam. So my point of making this video, Habatifillah, is that no doubt some people will be infuriated. They'll say, why are you defending white people or why are you defending? Because this is my Muslim brother. I defend Islam. When we have all these discord and all this racism directed to our African-American stuff, no doubt. We have a history of that. And I don't think the racism that our brothers and sisters are feeling are, is the same as, as a qawm that the African-Americans have went through. But it's all evil. And more importantly than that, is it's never warranted you as a Muslim to direct that to any of your Muslim brothers and sisters, and I don't care if they're from under China. La ya Jews have Abedin. It's never permissible. And this is a, a, a way of the people, if we look at the similitude, look at the similitude, to have a backlash. So because you're hated, you hate. Because people down and oppress you, you're going to oppress. And this is the way of the people of desires in the religion of Islam, the people of bid'ah. What did they do? Every time a bid'ah came up, another group, another sect came, and they went against that bid'ah, which was good. They rejected that bid'ah, but they rejected it with another bid'ah. The murjia reject the khawarij. They come up with the bid'ah to deal with the bid'ah of extremists, the bid'ah of being extreme and making takfir people to go to another extreme with bid'ah to where there's no such thing as takfir. And there's no such thing as leaving Islam except by if you just say it, you know, or in the heart. That's it. So you see that sectarianism also results. So it's a human sickness. It's a human condition. Likewise, as African-American Muslims or any Muslim, that because of the experience of your people, you do not hate another people. That will never make, make progress for your people. It will never make progress for you. It will never benefit your Islam. And before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll be one of the khasirin. So it's very important to, to, to mention that. I just want to mention that because we see that there's a backlash and a backlash. You know, there, and I believe that from this fitna, there's going to be good and bad of what's going on with all the protests, the Black Lives Matter and all this thing. There's going to be more divisions in our community because there's going to be a large group of African-Americans who are like, yeah, finally our issues are getting addressed. We don't want any uh, other Muslims in our affairs. So they're going to separate. There's going to be another taifa of Pakistanis and Arabs and Indians who will say, we didn't need those guys anyway. Let's get... Then there'll be some who will realize the importance of the unity of Islam, that this is what Allah calls you to, that they're going to try to understand one another. They're going to empathize with one another. They're going to try to build together. So I believe that there will be thalathatwaif. There's going to be those separating, going to very uh, extremes, and segregating the Muslim community. And then there's going to be a productive group who are trying to build. And there'll be probably all kinds of things in between. So we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to learn from these things that are going on and from the, the harms that we find as an ummah and that we can rectify ourselves. Because yes, as reverts, we left everything. Some of us no longer have. Can you imagine not speaking to your mother? Can you imagine your father cutting you off? Can you imagine your cousins despising you, ridiculing you and your deen? Could you imagine some people want to kill you from your family and beat you? How many reverts have had been beaten, especially young girls becoming Muslim? How many have been kicked out and homeless, living in cars? I know how many brothers and sisters that have been homeless, living in the masjid, living in cars. They lost everything because they came to the Islam. They wanted to come to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is how you treated them? Is this what you did to them? Is you made them turn away from the religion of, Islam, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because you wanted to be and practicing your culture and your nationality, you wanted to put that above Islam? So we can never respond with, from ignorance and evil and racism, we can never respond 
to it with ignorance, evil, and racism. We ask Allah, Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was surely from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk.